Are you looking for love in the Philippines and thinking of marrying her? Or maybe you are already in a relationship with a Filipina and don't know if she's the right one for you to marry or not. Well, today we are going to talk about choosing the right one to marry. And I know that I can't tell you all who to choose and who to marry since you are all grown up and can make your own decisions. Plus, the fact that most of you are even more experienced than me. But here is just my take on how to choose the right Filipina to marry. Hello everyone and welcome back again to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing great. And today, we will be discussing a very important topic for those who are considering marrying a Filipina. And I sincerely hope you all will like it. Anyways, let's get on with it. So as you all know, the Philippines is a beautiful country with rich cultures and traditions and Filipino women are known for their beauty, kindness and strong family values. Choosing the right Filipina to marry is a big decision that requires a careful consideration as marriage is a lifetime commitment. So marrying someone from a different culture can be a beautiful experience but it can also come with its own set of challenges. Now I just want to point out some important factors to consider when looking for the right Filipina and to tell you all there's no such thing as a perfect Filipina since all of us are flawed and we have different imperfections. So anyway, there are a lot of factors to really consider when choosing the ideal one for you. First and foremost, it is important to understand that the Philippine is a diverse country with many different cultures, languages and traditions. This means that not all Filipinas are the same, and as an expat, you will meet a lot of different girls with different beliefs and traditions as well as different personalities and and it is important to get to know the person you are considering marrying on an individual level one thing that you can do to help narrow down your choices is to Consider your own values and what you are looking for in a partner. It is important to know what your priorities are, what are the qualities that you are looking for in a partner. Are you looking for someone who shares your religious beliefs? Someone who is family oriented? Do you value honesty and kindness? Someone who is ambitious and career driven. By knowing what you want in a partner, you can better evaluate potential partners. And another important thing to consider is communication. As you all know, effective communication is key to building a strong and healthy relationship. So it is important to look for someone who is willing to listen and express themselves clearly. If you are not able to speak Filipino or Tagalog fluently, it is important to um, find someone who is comfortable communicating with you in English or any other language that you both understand well. And this can help avoid misunderstandings and ensure that you are both on the same page when it comes to important topics like marriage, family, and finances. And additionally, 
it may be helpful to learn some basic Filipino or Tagalog phrases to show respect for the local culture and to make communication easier when interacting with locals. I mean, this can also enhance your overall experience here in the Philippines and make it easier to navigate daily life. It is also a good idea to spend time with your potential partner's family and friends. And as you all know, family is such a big thing here in the Philippines because we are such a tight-knit community. Getting to know your potential partners, family, and friends can give you a better understanding of their values and beliefs, which can help you determine if you are compatible with them. And additionally, building a good relationship with their loved ones can also make your partner feel more comfortable and secure in the relationship. It is important to approach this relationship with an open mind and a genuine interest in getting to know them. Remember that their opinions and per perspectives may differ from your own, but that doesn't necessarily mean they are incompatible with yours or your partner's. Now, I know that other families can be annoying and demanding sometimes because of the way they just ask you for your money, but that doesn't necessarily mean you will be harsh towards them. There's a better and calmer way to approach this kind of situation if and when you ever get into it. It is important to uh, set boundaries and communicate your limits respectfully. You can explain that you have your own financial responsibilities and that suggest alternative ways to support them, such as helping them find job opportunities or connect them, connecting them with resources in the uh, community. So when choosing the right Filipina to marry, it is important to consider practical matters that will have an impact on your life together. So some of the practical matters to consider are financial stability, career goals, family planning, and of course, long-term plans. Make sure that you and your, par uh, your partner are on the same page when it comes to these practical matters as they can affect your future together. It is important to have open and honest conversations about these practical matters before making any long-term commitments. This will help ensure that both partners are comfortable with the uh, decision being made and can work together towards a shared future. And last but not least, it is important to have a chemistry and compatibility with your partner. Well, it is important to consider practical factors such as education, career goals, and financial stability. It is also important to have a strong emotional connection with your partner. So make sure that you have common interests and hobbies and that you enjoy spending time together because marriage is a lifelong commitment so it is important to choose someone who you truly enjoy being with and finally it is important to take things slowly and not rush into marriage and getting to know someone and building a foundation for a strong relationship and a lasting relationship takes time so don't feel like you need to make that decision right away so if your girlfriend is pushing you to get married right away I guess that says something about her and I reckon it's time to move on buddy <laughs> so 
Just try to take your time. Communicate openly and honestly with your partner and make sure that you are both on the same page when it comes to your future together. Rushing into marriage without careful consideration can lead to problems down the line. So there you have it guys. Choosing the right Filipina to marry requires careful consideration, patience and understanding, and of course, effort. And in the end, it's gonna be worth it. So, thank you all for watching my vlogs. Stay safe and have a good one. I will see you, I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.